So, going to do a video on this genius. I've got AA me partition as well, which is brilliant. I prefer this to do my partitioning work and that. This is a bit clunky, this genius, but it has got some brilliant features on it. So obviously, you've got partition recovery and file recovery, and this really does do a good job. It's pretty, it's slowish. It's not fast compared to our studio and that one. It is good. You can do partitioning and that, all the standard stuff, but as you can see, it ain't quite so friendly as I aim with partition for doing that sort of work. But the tools it has got, which are good, are clear reserve sectors. So if you've got any reserve partitions on your hard drive, you can clear it. You can back up your partition table. You can alter your disk geometry for when, if your hard disk is not booting. I don't know 100% about that, never used it, but it's there if you needed it. You can alter the geometry and hopefully get your disk being recognised again, but I won't be doing that unless you know what you're doing. You can modify the MBR signature. Which is advanced <laughs> i won't be doing that and then you've got obviously smart which most of them have got well this is brilliant as well so it not only detects the bad sectors but it repairs them as well and it does work as long as you ain't got too many if you've got like over 30 i don't know you might as well be chucking the hard drive away anyway but it will take a long time to repair them. But I had six on one and it went through and it's, the, the hard drive is still working to this day. So I know that works and it is good. So that's very fine repair bad sectors, which is brilliant to have on it. It's got some virtual disk stuff, but I don't really use that. Trim optimization is good. You can do that and it every, every now and again just do that to SSD and it's good for performance but only use it on ssd obviously there's all your partition tools it's got bit local management i've never used that that load current partition intelligent is brilliant it gives you access to all your files so that is a really good setting and that's about it on that one that i use that i want to mention you've got this 4k alignment one or should be aligned yeah, they've all aligned mine are. But if it's out of alignment, this is a bit weird to get a realigned. So I use AOMI for that. But it is good that it's giving you a this little box to check it. Then you got construct a virtual raid. Never had to use it, but that would be brilliant. You got copy sectors, which is excellent for failing hard drives. You can do a sector by sector copy, or you can skip bad sectors. So you can skip 128 sectors ahead and try and get as much good data as you can. And then you can recopy later. There's a lot of good settings in there. It's worth learning that. Is. That is a major feature of this that I like. I'm probably going to forget someone now, but I think that's about it. Well, obviously that's all good stuff. So you can clone your disks and you can clone partitions. It's got excellent file recovery and partition recovery. I think this used to be called Partition Magic or something like that, or Partition Wizard. So you can check your partition table for errors. You restore your partition from your images. Modify the parameters as well. That's probably to do with the 4K alignment. Which I say is a bit awkward on this one. Well, that's about all that's different on this that's worth mentioning. But as you can see, brilliant stuff. Worth it just for that alone. 
copy sectors and skipping bad sectors on hard drives. That some companies charge you hundreds of pounds for a tool like that. So there you go, definitely worth adding if you're into data recovery and things like that.